Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. <laughs> and we're Pinky Mouse uh, Sisters in the Kitchen. And thank y'all for joining us this uh, Wednesday morning. And it is cold this it is morning. Cold. Uh, I think it was in the 30s, wasn't it? It was 32 at the house. And um, when I got to Harleton, I looked on the just happened to look down and it was 30 so it could have even been in the high 20s in Harleton. Yeah. It's pretty chilly. Yeah, it's pretty chilly this morning. So I'm uh we're going to make um carrot cake sandwich cookies this morning. And um they are good. It They're, smells so good in here. Yeah. It's um I, actually I'm going to do just what the recipe says. But and I am I'm following the recipe, but to me I think it's a a little much spice. It's quite a bit of spice. Okay. So uh, I'm going to follow the recipe today, but if you know, if you want to add a little less spices cuz it's it's a little a lot of spices to me. Seem like the the amount, yeah. the, the measurements. Okay, so first of all, let me see here. I thought I was. You'll have to tell me what to do, Mary. Okay. Uh, I, um, uh, I'm two sticks unsalted butter is what we're going to start with. And I'm using my uh, pedal attachment on my, on my mixer. Now, you can use whatever you have, but this is what I'm going to use. Um, I think you, the, the, the pedal is easier to clean than the whisk, don't you think? Yeah, I'm, um, uh, I forgot I was going to, this butter, <laughs> I had it laid out, I had it laid out to get soft, mm -hmm. and it's cold, it didn't, it had it cold, cold yet, so I'm going to um, uh, put it in the microwave for 10 seconds. <laughs> I got to get some of my um, fall clothes out. Yeah, me too, Linda. The only thing I could get to this morning in the coat closet was a wool sweater, so I put it on. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. So it's two sticks of uh, unsalted butter. We'll start with that. Linda, if you want to unwrap that other one for me. Uh, uh, we start with it. A little, stuff, a little more. I just take my spatula and I tell you with the way these prices are, I sure don't want to leave any on there. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Butter did you ever go to Kroger's and get you some butter? They had it on sale. No, I didn't. You didn't? You, you got plenty? Y'all are gonna laugh. What do you do? I got seven pounds of butter in my house. And do you know how much butter that I have kept? Almost on a weekly basis, when I was doing a lot of cooking, I always had at least 50 pounds of butter in my refrigerator. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I bought nine, nine pounds, because I don't, uh, I didn't have but three or four. Uh, I'm going to put that start making cookies, you can go through butter quick. This is backwards to me. This is normally where I, the way I, I'm going to put it on medium. Your and mixer's that, quite, your small mixer's quieter than mine. Yeah, let me, um. Uh, wash my hands. I had that butter on them. Now Mary, you're going to have to tell me what to do. Cause... Okay, well, we just uh, cream that butter. We're just going to cream that butter for just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to pick it up and, you know, it just stuck to the yeah, to the beater. So I'm going to take it off and whip it some more so it won't be all, it get whipped a little bit better. You know, whipping your butter makes it light. Yeah, it does. So let's get get that, and then I'm gonna add um, it's one and a fourth cups of imperial dark brown sugar, imperial dark brown sugar. And if you wanna get that other, and I'm gonna put. I hope I didn't pack that too much. <laughs> My head. Okay, we're putting the. Uh, I made a mess. That's all right. And then uh, I'm going to let that brown sugar uh, beat up in your butter for a few minutes. And I'm also going to put a half a cup of, of imperial granulated sugar, just plain sugar. Put that in there. Are you through with the, the I'm, I'm through with the brown sugar and the sugar both, but I didn't know if we need to leave it up there because there's... All right. Just... Just leave, I don't think I'm, I'm leaving them out. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to need that again or not. There's a lot of steps 
to this uh, <laughs> this uh, recipe, I'm going to take that up and uh, scrape now, the uh, sides of the bowl again. Will these keep, uh, cookies keep a long time, Yes, Mary? they will. They um, You put them in a, in a um, closed container. Okay. And um, they... When you make the sandwich, when you do the sandwich cookies, you will have to refrigerate them because of the filling that's in between. But just the cookie itself does not have to be refrigerated. So you could make the cookie, yes, and store them, and then when you get yes. ready to make the sandwich cookies, yes. you could make the filling. Yes, you can. But refrigerator you need... space is always at a premium around exactly. the holidays. Exactly, and um, you always, when you're doing this process, you want to always. Scrape down the sides of your of your mixing bowl because it it um, it doesn't all get incorporated good if you don't. You know what I used to do? What um, years ago when um, you know when I baked all them cakes and was baking cakes um, for everybody that comes to Steen's house. You know we always had cakes. Yeah. Um, I used uh, the trunk as a refrigerator. Is that right? And I've done it well, since hey, Mike and I've been married yeah, too. Yeah. You don't have enough refrigerator space, right. and if the weather is cold, you can just store them in the trunk of your car. Right, right. And I'm putting two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, and I'm going to, uh, I will need that teaspoon again in try, a few minutes. Try to help you, and then I knock it off. Sorry, Linda. It, at least it did land on the bottom, so... Okay. You said you're gonna need this. Yeah, again. I'm gonna I'm gonna crack them eggs in a bowl. Uh, takes two eggs. That's a cute little bowl. Oh, thank you. I think it's a Walmart bowl. <laughs> cute. Put one egg in and mix it up. Carla was saying uh, well, she made that uh, uh, German chocolate. chocolate cake the other day, and she said, "Mother," she said. You have to beat one egg at a time. I said, yes, Carla. Hey, she, she never made She much. does not bake much. Oh, no. <laughs> and she had never made a German chocolate cake. <laughs> so we beat that up. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna look at this recipe because I don't want to mess up uh, too. Uh, okay, yep, uh, that's it. That's all that. And then we then we'll do the flour. Uh I'm going to stop this and scrape my beaters, my beater and my sides down again. Do you want me to get the flour over here? Uh, yes, if you don't mind, Linda. I appreciate it. Uh, and what measure and scoop do you need? A cup? Yes. I think it's all, isn't it, on that the tray? Everything on that tray there. Everything on okay. that tray. I tried to put everything, uh, all the steps on a tray. Uh ahead of time so that I'll know exactly what goes in each step. So I'm going to beat this just a little bit more after I got it. Okay. Now. <laughs> so all right. I'm knock something off. All right. All right. We're going to put, um, you can do it for me. Uh, cut. One cup and three-fourths a cup. One and three-fourths cups of all-purpose flour. Now, you, um, a lot of you ask is, um, you want in here? Yes, please. Why can't you um, use um, Seth Rising? This does not call for baking powders. And Seth Rising flour has baking powders in it. So, um, you don't, uh, you don't use all-purpose, I mean, uh, Step rise and flour in this recipe. All right. Now um, I'll need my little teaspoon. Okay. Let me wipe uh, this off. You need. I need um, one teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm gonna pour it in there for okay. you. Okay. It's very important. That's enough. It's a very important that you whisk this up good because that kosher salt, if you don't, you're going to taste it in your cookie. Yep, you'll get a bite of nothing yep. but salt. Yep. Uh, is it a teaspoon of soda? Um, uh, a teaspoon of salt and um, 
three fourths a teaspoon. So okay. not quite, uh, not quite a teaspoon. Does and that look about right? Or? That's fine. And then um, a half a teaspoon of um, allspice. A half a teaspoon of allspice. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving these off the counter as I put it in there. All right, I'm going to turn that off. This is a half a teaspoon of allspice. And Linda... Uh, is your little whisk in the second drawer? It, it is. And then a half a teaspoon of ginger. Half a teaspoon of ginger. This is ginger. This reminds me of Grandma Hooper. Does it? Yep. <laughs> all the spices and yeah. all. And cinnamon. One and a half. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Do that. Yes. Thank you, Linda. I don't want to grab it up and put it. Put more in it. Because it does not need more more spices than what we're putting in here. Now that was a half a teaspoon, so I need a teaspoon now. I love cinnamon. Absolutely adore cinnamon. I like nutmeg, too. Okay. And ginger. Ginger just has a little bit stronger, a little bit different yeah, taste. Yeah, yeah, it does. And that's one and a half teaspoons of... Okay, now I've got the cinnamon. I've got um, two and three-fourths cups of all purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of allspice, three-fourths a teaspoon of baking soda, one half a teaspoon of ginger, and one in a, and that's all on that. Now, just give us one of those little dry, those measuring cups, and we're going to add that to this. Okay. But we're going to do just it a, a little bit at a time. Just a little bit at the time. Yes. And and we didn't say, uh, we whisked. When we, let, did y'all see Linda whisking all these all these spices up in the flour? That's uh, very important. <laughs> and then you just start spooning a little bit at the time in the dough. Sometimes you'll think you've got it whisked and then uh -huh. I'll go and then all of a sudden it's a big, right. big thing of brown from the spices yeah, I'm that gonna, wasn't even mixed up. You want me to go ahead I'm and put a, some more in there? Uh, no, I'm going to scrape, down, I'm the scrape down the sides. And uh, also, not only scraping the sides down, if you're using a mixer like this, I might have to pick it up and do it, uh, is, is go to the bottom of the bowl. Does yours not mix good on the bottom? Uh, when I turn See? my... Um, uh, no, I did that the other day when I was doing the shortbread. I was thinking I did that yesterday. I just turned my beaters up higher. Uh, I turned my speed up yeah, higher. Yeah, okay. Because it don't But you're mix right. Up. If you don't get it, when you get through, you're going to have flour in the bottom exactly. of the bowl. Exactly, exactly. So, Mary, this wouldn't be a hard recipe to double, would it? No, it wouldn't. This makes, it makes about 40 cookies, which is about 20 sandwiches. Because you put two cookies per sandwich. Get the, I think I got the wrong spatula. So I got this cup. There's another one in there. Okay. I'm on. Thank you. You're welcome. You ready for some more? Yeah, go ahead and put some more in there. When we're making cookies, and I just I think of Mama all the times when Mama was, of course she was. She wasn't by herself all the time because she had all of her sisters. Yeah. Of course, we were all working and living all over the place and wasn't there in Nacogdoches around her, which right. I wish so much we would have been me during too. our younger years. Too. But um, she, we'll would, she would get in the kitchen and start cooking. That's what yeah. she did. That's how she kept herself yeah. busy and how she yeah. kept herself occupied and happy. Um, these are good. I, when I first uh, found this recipe, um, I thought it was going to be, I don't know what I thought it was going to be, but it's, um, it, I think the spice is what makes it taste a little bit, 
uh, more spicier than seem like my carrot cakes taste. I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to scrape down the sides again. Uh, but it is a good good cookie. I've had to refrain myself from from eating them. I made some the other day, and I sure did. I did eat two or three of them, but... Uh, That's another fun part of making yeah. cookies. You get to sample them. Right. So this is not a real stiff cookie dough, is it? No, not. but I hadn't got everything in there now. Oh, okay. you could You can remove this. Oh, that's and I right. may still... Got, I think I'm... I don't think I'm needing anything. you got other things to yeah, put Yeah, I've got in, some more things to put that. in it. This is just the dough. I uh, forgot about that. So you want me to get the other tray, tray over here? Yes, please. Now, I shredded... Uh, grated um, carrots. It actually, it didn't take much over one carrot. This was a big, a big carrot, but you want them in little bitty slices. That little is a bit. cup, right? That is a cup, yes. Um, I use this, I use this, the smallest grade. I know, I didn't want, I didn't want Linda to cut her hand or me to one, so I did them ahead of time. <laughs> um, so now, I'm putting a cup of grated um, carrots in here. It was, uh, like I said, it was a um, little over uh, one carrot. You don't and want you know it. Something that's kind of that's kind of hard to do when a recipe is asking for so much. Yeah. You before you know it, you've got twice as many yeah. carrots. So right. kind of kind of cut them and then measure them right. or grate them and then right. measure them because it's easy to have a bunch left over that you don't know what to do with and um uh you want your carrots the cup not not packed tight but packed if that okay. makes sense you just don't pack it tight but loosely tight you know uh tight loosely and then i put a cup and a half of old-fashioned oatmeal i I don't think that the fi the quick would be as good because it the uh, that t five minute uh, oatmeal or whatever it is that other other thing that's quick. Um, I think it would make it too mushy. These might, are the old fashioned, would. old fashioned. I prefer the old fashioned I when I'm too. making cookies. I do too. And then a half a cup of chopped pecans. Now, did you toast those before? I did not? not toast okay. them. Okay, so they're not. Toasted. So you can toast them, but I didn't. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this off and <laughs> drop That's heavy. Yeah, that did thicken that up yeah. a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, and um, <coughs> I, uh, I carried my friend one the other day. She said she, she was wanting something sweet. And uh, I told her, I said, now, don't you tell nobody I brought this to you because... I'm going to bring the other lady some another day. <laughs> she had been sick, uh, Sister Danita. And and Sister uh, um, Lauren was sick this week, last Sunday. We had prayer for her. Oh, you said Linnell was feeling better last Linnell night, Linnell right? is feeling better. If you'll put that over there for me, please. Linda. Wait a minute. Little, okay, I got that. Little Linda, can you move the, the uh, mixer for me, please? Thank you. <laughs> it was still on. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands because uh, I'm going to be uh, putting these in my hands. Okay. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. I think that's why I love the, the season so much that, you know you have different things that you bake for different yeah. seasonings yeah. seasons not yeah. seasoning seasons and the spices and the fall things are just so good to me see the dough that's how the dough looks right, i'm gonna leave that spatula in there um we put i'm gonna use a paper plate um, you need to put a little flour on your hands when you're doing this. I have two scoops, and these are these scoops are like uh, one and a half tablespoons, 
uh, size. I don't know what other size you would call it because I looked to see it. It's not on here, but I measured it with the tablespoon to see, and it's about a tablespoon and a half. So are these Pampers Chef? And these are Pampers Chef, yeah. I I'm using this. And I I'm not necessarily using the scoop to do that. I'm just getting flour out because okay. we're going to dip our hands in the in the flour. Okay. All right. Give me a cookie sheet, please. You can put parchment paper. Uh, line your cookie sheet with parchment paper. Or if you got the uh, silicone um, paste, uh, baking mats, yeah. um, you can use those. So anyway, um, I'm just I just put flour on my hands like this, and just get to. Um, then we here, Linda. Here, I guess we put it right here. Okay. And we're just scooping, uh, and and I got a little flour on my hands. It don't really take a lot of hand, a lot of flour, but um, you just don't want it to stick to your hands. So, and you just kind of roll it in a ball, and then. Put it on that, and then just lightly mash it. It gets bigger around. So that's uh, so. And they come out pretty nicely. And you think that's going to be a little cookie? It's not that little, is it, Linda? No, it's, I a, thought, it's a nice size cookie. Yeah, I thought sure that um, I said, goodness, that's going to be a little cookie. But it's really just right. But when you're scooping these, just scoop it. Um. If you said you were going to put four down. I think or? I'm going to try to put four down. I only did three, but it, it had quite a bit of space. You pro you need to leave about an inch and a half in between your cookies. Um. This one's not coming out good. <sighs> About an inch and a half from your cookie, so I think I can. I think I can get four on there. I mean eight, four on each row. I don't know if I'm mashing mine out right or not, Mary. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move it down just a little bit. I don't know. That dough don't seem like. I don't know. I guess, uh, <laughs> you know. Did you chill yours the last time? No, I didn't. Uh -uh. So you're, are you going to put three rows or just two rows? Uh, I'm just going to put two. Okay. So, so you need move this pan. Matter of fact. Thank you, Linda. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the oven. You'll, can you open the door, the door for me? Yeah, I may get. That's okay. Messy. <laughs> 10 minutes, 11 minutes, I mean. <whistles> 11 minutes. And it does, and, and they're going to be really soft, but they finish cooking and they, and, they, and they stay moist if you don't overcook them. You can, when you overcook your cookies, they get, they get hard if you, um, if you overcook them, overbake them. Yeah, that helped putting a little bit of flour on Did that. Okay. Have to come out. Well, you, you, I think you say you butter yours, but <laughs> now I did not have the first time when I made those cookies of the other day having problems of coming <laughs> Until out. Until I said that, and I jinxed it. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, different times you make it, uh, you make the cookies and they turn out different. Several people have asked what size your scoop. Um. This is Linda. Is this the, this is the medium scoop? The medium for is supposed pepper to shell. be two tablespoons. Is what it's supposed to be. Oh really? Yeah. But you said you measured it. I measured it. It, it ain't two tablespoons. It's about a tablespoon and a half. Isn't that odd? That it it's just a, it's, it's the dough the is a little bit scoop. If they're using pampered chef, or, yeah, or about two tablespoons. Uh, Could be the temperature of the house. I'm wondering. I'm wondering that because. Um, uh, yeah, it could be, Linda. It um, it just seemed like it's um, it's a little bit. Um, 
a little bit stickier moisture than what they were the other day when I baked them. That's just not coming out. So I'll just... Thank you, Linda. Yeah. I hope they don't... I'm trying not to get on camera. Braden said I look like a, a hippie this morning. <laughs> you look like you're warm. I thought you looked <laughs> Thank <cute>. you. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I, did, I don't know why this This is uh, seems like more moist than what... Um, I didn't leave nothing out, I hope. <laughs> You know, it's sticking to my, they didn't stick to my hands at all. That's what I'm saying. It's something a little bit different. Well, we'll see. I'm going to put some flour in. Yeah, that helped mine. Put a little bit of flour. If you don't have a scoop, you can use a spoon. You know, just do uh, about, uh, about two tablespoons. Or it, it's a, I measure it's a tablespoon and a half, but you want to, when you mash them out, make sure they're, I'm going to mash them with a little bit flatter. This is, uh, thank you, Linda. You're welcome. Thank you. That's taking all three of us this morning. <laughs> We're going to just fill these trays and then whatever, um, whatever we have left. Um, Mary, you set the timer, didn't you? I did. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Yeah. I don't know if it was the difference in the egg size. That's the only liquid is in it. Uh, it's egg and flavor and that's... They sure not want to come out. And this, I can't I hope wait to they, try these. I'll just put the balls down and you can mash them. It's almost like we didn't have enough flour in it, but it's one and three fourths cups. What goes well, in? Well, I measured it, but I yeah, did a cup uh, and a and the three yeah, fourths. Yeah, well, that's right. That's what we. So you're putting eight on a cookie sheet. Yeah. Is this, is this the third or the fourth cookie sheet we got? Fourth. 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 Okay. So and I, I just don't want them touching. You know. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. Um, probably could put maybe you know in between here maybe another in the two. I don't really think that um, it would touch, but, oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm, I think I'm going to try to put a, one or two in here. How much more? No, I, I won't put no more on this one because it'll take yeah, one more have cookie have sheet. Yeah, another pan. Yeah, it'll take another cookie sheet. Yeah, this is a lot stickier. Okay. Um, this is, um, if he wanted to put raisins or, you know, because uh, carrot cakes has raisins in it. So if you wanted to put raisins in it, you could, but like I said, I am strictly going by the recipe on this one. I think, I think you either like raisins or you don't, right? Yeah, right. And we love raisins, but... Um, but these are going to be really, really good. I made the, um, oh, I, I, well, never mind. I was going to say, I got to have this here. I'm going to scrape the sides out. down. And um, see how dark the dough is? That, and it's that spice. Yes, yeah, the spices. Because um, we're going to need this bow to make the frosting, the filling. I know what the problem was. What? How many cups of flour did you put in there? Two and three-fourths. Is that what you put? 
No, I put one and three fourths. Oh. Uh, Someone commented. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Well, I, 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 I probably said that, Linda. <laughs> I am so sorry. That's okay. That's so okay. sorry. No, that's okay. I probably said one, Linda. I don't remember. But I knew when I was making that, that, said, that sure didn't look like um, enough of, uh, dough didn't look like it, and it's too sticky. So hopefully they'll be okay. But Do do we need to to um, put what? these back in there and add some more? Nah, uh, nah. We ain't going to do that. We'll just, however it works out. I've got cookies made. So, um. Uh, it's it's hard when whenever uh, two Oops. people's doing it. I just I rely on her and she relies on me, and we don't know it, it's my recipe. I should have called it. Well, and I'm pretty sure I said one. I don't re I don't know what I said. Next, I think when you were reading it, you said two, but when it was actually time, I think you said one. Oh. I could be wrong. Okay. I think that's well, I'm very that's very okay. sorry. I knew that it did it did not because this dough did not stick to my. Uh, uh, cookie uh, scoop the other day, so I knew something was wrong. <laughs> mm. But I'm gonna so. go ahead. We don't like much here, and I'll if I have to, I'll make another batch later. Um, we were I was making these cookies to to give away, uh, and I prob I may have to buy make some more, but that's okay. You have to make some more if they're free. They're free. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? <laughs> They'll be edible. <laughs> All right, I believe be one more, and then we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna wash this because I'm gonna use this mixer and the paddle to uh, make uh, the the frosting. Can you mute mine, cause so I could do some water here. Thank you. Okay, we clean this mess up. Okay. All right. What's the timer? Like a couple more minutes. I hope that they get they firm up enough. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to wash my hands, too, Linda. So I think I need to be the cleanup girl. <laughs> no. Okay. That water here, you use a paper towel if you want to, Linda. I'll get that out. Get some of it out anyway. I couldn't, it was so moist, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it to um, loosen. Get this cleaned up. Uh, and then I'll show you. It will. It's about time to take those out, and I'll show you what the ones with the correct amount of flour in it. I'll show you what they look like. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, these are going to be flatter. Let me get. Uh, I'm surprised we even made that many. Yeah, I know. With it's not having with my mistake. my counter off a little bit here. It'll be healthier. I hope you put that so much flour. This is the ones that I made the other day. And they're and they're real soft when you get them out, but then they're they um I'll, I'm gonna uh a lot of people are saying they think it's gonna be yummier. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> My big mistake oh, here. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I don't care. We everybody makes mistakes, and I I'm not. I don't get upset over it. No point. No point in it. Okay. So now, all right. Now we're going to do. Oh, and I had you to move the mixer. Okay. The cookies are done. Or I'm on. I'm assuming they're done. They're just flatter. You give me another sheet and I'll put another sheet in. Thank you. You're welcome.
All right. And I'm going to put these on a cooling rack. That's... They're, they're just not going to be as plump, but that's okay. That is perfectly okay. Just put them right there and we'll let them cool. And we got to set the timer for the next ones. Okay. Now, the frosting. Um, the tray. Where's the tray? I had the frosting stuff over there behind you, Linda. I put everything in different. I'll need the paddle. Did you get the paddle, oh, Linda? I didn't wash it. Okay, nope, thank I didn't. you. But I will. Okay. One stick, and I'm going to put it in the microwave for 10 seconds. It's still hard, and I want it soft. Okay. I'm going to cream the, um, I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice in this one. Uh, I didn't do it in that the other day. You can, but... I still not soft. Do another eight minutes, eight seconds. Uh, it takes a stick of unsalted butter. It takes a half a cup of sour cream. That's what I was saying yesterday. I didn't know if Linda's going to uh, like this uh, filling or not because it's um, got has sour cream in it. Are you ready for this? You can. Yeah, you can go ahead and put it out. According to the comments, yeah. we're loving that it has less flour. And oh, is that right? With all hey. the good reasons why it has flour. Good. Good. Thank for, for making me feel better because <laughs> I figured I'd have some haters on there. No, they're all telling you don't feel bad. Mistakes happen. Absolutely. To Abs air is human. Hey. Nobody's perfect. That's right. Okay, so I get my butter. Stick of butter. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to cream the butter. You know, Mary, I noticed when I opened some, that's, is that Kroger butter? Yes. When I opened some Kroger butter the other day, some of it stuck on the package. Yeah. And it usually doesn't do yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Yep. I'm, I got to get all the butter off the paper. I just take my scraper and get it off. <laughs> I guess I must be trying to get in a hurry because it seemed like I can't get it off. That was That's how much butter was left on that paper. That's why it's important to uh, put that, put those away. And we'll cream the butter. Oh, the here it is. And I'm using the paddle again paddle attachment but you can if you got a, any kind of mixer just cream that butter real good this is uh three and a half cups of powdered sugar you put your sour cream in there last so it don't curdle with the butter that okay. sour cream so let me let me look at this recipe real good here um one fourth this teaspoon of salt and one half a teaspoon of vanilla. Is Maybe it vanilla? You should read it too, Aunt Linda. <laughs> well, I'm the one who told her. Okay. Um, a fourth of salt and a half. Linda's so sweet. She's and a trying half to make me feel better. <laughs> a fourth a cup. A fourth a teaspoon of kosher salt. I probably would have caught that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I caught it. I, yeah, I think you would have caught that one. All right, so a half, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and I mean a fourth, a fourth a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. So, is my little half a teaspoon over there? Oh. Uh, I'm going to spray down the sides. It's, um, whether you know it or not, it's hard when you're, you're trying to tell it on here. And 
and it's do harder it. than it looks. And it's and it's harder actually. With two, I don't mean two people, but it really does because I'm thinking one thing and I, and I'm assuming she's thinking the other, and so it just it's kind of hard to, um, for two people. Now, uh, the flavoring. Uh, this is a half a teaspoon of flavoring of uh, vanilla extract. Okay, I'm through with that. And I'm also through with that one. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, get that stirred up good. And it's not getting on this in the bottom, so I want to... Linda, you want to show them a picture of this? Or not? It's just a, um, it's creamy nut butter. And I'm going to turn it down on, on low again. And this is three and a half cups of um, powdered sugar, imperial powdered sugar. And I'm only putting a little bit in at a time. Mary's going to put me back on greasy pan <laughs> duty. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, you know what? I'll, put, I'll set that timer and then I... Okay. For those of you who don't know, that's what I used to do when we first started <laughs> cooking. That was my job, to grease the pans. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Linda. <laughs> I'm not going to put her back on, on Grease the Pan duty. She's a better baker than I am. No, <laughs> don't say that. Now, let me get this butter in the sides. You have to scrape them down whenever you're using a, a, a stand mixer. If you're using a hand mixer, you can rotate the sides your, your, um, you know, yourself. But if you use a stand mixer, you have to scrape the sides of your bowl. And this is going to be very, very dry until I put the sour cream in there. And I'm not actually, I'm not going to put all of the powdered sugar. It's three and a half cups. But I, that other half a cup, I'm not going to put in there until I after I put the sour cream. cream. Yeah, because um, um, cause it gets really crumbly. Uh. Do I need to be? No, I, 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 I guessed at the time because I took it off when I melted the butter, but I guessed at it, but do not want to. I'm going to put a little bit more and then I'm going to save that to put in there after I put the cream. Okay, now if you'll fill up that, that's that's a high. I think it's a third. Is it a high? No, it is a high cup. Sour cream, Linda, okay. if you don't mind. Now, you want to show them this, Linda? This is where it looks. So don't panic if um you think that the powdered sugar is real crumbly. If you haven't already panicked. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't panicked. <laughs> mm -hmm. I might would have if I hadn't already had a pan done. You know, because not knowing what it was going to turn out to be. But I knew I had that backup pan, so I wasn't worried about it. Does that look okay? That's fine. I'm going to put that in there now. The sour cream. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. A half a cup of sour cream. And you know what? I was kind of hesitant about putting sour cream in this frosting. Have you tasted it? Uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. And uh, what I've got in the refrigerator um, is just exactly what I'm showing you here. But uh, there was a little side note on the recipe that you could, if you didn't like the tangy taste, it's a little bit tangy, not real tangy. The um, frosting is a little tangy. You could put a, just a drop or two of lemon juice. So I'm going to do that on this one, and I'm going to compare the difference in I the taste. I do that with um, uh, um, cream cheese. Do you? Put a little bit of lemon in it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. A little bit of lemon juice. Probably about a, t a teaspoon, or if, if that much. I didn't want to put much. Are you done with the sour cream? I am done with that, Linda. Thank you. And you know what? I don't think my butter was creamed up. Um, it wasn't. The butter wasn't. Um, 
I'm putting the rest of this powdered sugar. Well, <laughs> I put too much powdered sugar in it. It's flying everywhere. I'm going to scrape down the sides and put the rest of it in there. I may be putting more powdered sugar since I, since I added that lemon juice. You know? Uh... See those little, little, yeah. you know what that is? That's butter. That butter wasn't salt. I didn't cream the butter. I actually, I'm going to tell y'all, and I didn't do it here, but you need to cream that butter about four minutes. We, I didn't cream it four minutes. It, it, it probably needed to be creamed at least four minutes. Because if, if that butter doesn't get salt, not soft and, and, uh, and whipped good, then uh, you're going to have little, little, uh, dots of um, butter in it. I was watching one of the, um, you know, this time of year they have the baking shows with uh -huh. the cookie and the cakes and all that. Right. And I was watching one last night and Mike taped some for me so I don't know when these come on but yeah. I was watching one and uh, they didn't get their butter uh, beat well enough. Yeah. And uh, they threw it out and started over which, you know, Did they? they were doing this for money. <laughs> right. You know, so I would, I well, certainly wouldn't be throwing nothing out. But me either. Okay. They were professionals. Right. They did it. I'm going to ask you uh, to get me a half a cup more or uh, a, a powdered sugar. sugar. Yeah. Okay. Because I added that little bit of lemon juice. When you're making frosting and using powdered sugar, I mean the least bit of liquid added makes a world of difference, don't it, Linda? Yeah, it does. Just a little bit of liquid, and that little bit of lim that lemon uh, juice that I put in there. Half a cup, you said, right? Yeah, I, I think that'll be enough. It, it don't even have to be a half. I don't know. Yeah, I think I, I think I need a half. That's good. Thank you. You're welcome. Because it's really that, it's, that is powdered sugar in this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I can tell. I can tell by the the, the uh, thickness, the texture of this, that it needs a little bit more powdered sugar. So, y'all baking, and I'll tell you, three and a half cups, if you add that little bit of lemon juice in there, you're going to have to add another half a cup of, of powdered sugar. But, I will tell you, when you put this in the refrigerator, it does thicken, uh, thicken up some. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine so. Uh, and you can use a popping bag you know, with the large tip on the end uh, to pipe this on your cookies, or you can do like I'm going to do this morning. I just decided I wasn't going to get the piping bag out because um, it's it's easy with the spoon. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to mix that up a little bit. Okay. Now, you want to show them, Linda, what it looks like in the bowl? It looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. There aren't really any real mistakes when cooking because recipes are kind of like speed limits. They're just suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I love I love the comparison to speed yeah. limits. <laughs> you know why she uses speed limits, don't yeah. you? Because that's her that's her downfall. <laughs> she can relate to them speed limits. <laughs> Well, in some cases that's true, but uh, you have to pretty well follow measurements when you when you're doing ingredients. Wait a minute, hold that. Okay, all right. Are you done with this? Yeah, I'm this done with it. Plan. Okay, so there's flour or stuff all over that. Yes, powdered sugar on it. Yeah. Okay, now uh, I think our cookies are about ready to ch change. To another pan. Thank you. You're welcome. And those others need to be taken. Yes, they do. Uh, and you what kind of spatula do you use? You don't even that? have to use a spatula, Linda. The, uh, I mean, these I may have to. Whoops. Okay. This you right here is ones that we took up and been cooling. Uh, see, you don't even have to use a spatula. Okay. They just come right up. And use a spatula. 
uh, these are a little bit, these are going to be um, um, a little softer. Yeah. Because of no, no flour. If you're, make, if you're making the sandwich cookies, you would need that extra cup of flour. <laughs> but if you're just eating the cookie itself, um, it would be okay. I'm going to let you put that back over there. Okay. And, uh, and then this pan needs to be put on, this needs to be on oh, the cooling rack. rack. I, well, I can, okay. Put that on the cooling rack. And I'm going to get the, um, we're fixing to put some cookies together. Uh, Did you see the time? No, I hadn't. Thank you. Okay. All right. These are the cookies that I made yesterday. Just we're just gonna get a spoon, and uh, they look beautiful. There's your spoon. Whoops. I'm sorry. This is this is what I made the other day. It's a little bit stiffer. This is what we made today. We're, we're going to do both. Let's just okay. get your spoonful, put it in the middle. This looks like a really good filling. Put a good, pretty, pretty, pretty good uh, thickness. And then take another cookie. You do this on the flat side of the cookie. And then you take the other side, flat side of the cookie. Thank you, Linda. And you put it on there and mash it. Down to the side. Yes, you did. And uh, yeah, but you wanna, you know, it'll mash to the edge. You don't even have to do it to the edge. Okay. You don't want to. See, do it like that. Those are beautiful. Thank you. And just uh, put it in the it, put it in the middle and put you, put it right in the middle. And then take your other cookie and mash it through. I almost put too much on that one. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna try on this coal, see if it makes any difference. It might look, do better if it was in a, um, the coal in a piping bag, but I think the spoon actually does better. Yeah, you don't need a bag. I don't think so either. You absolutely. I don't, don't think you need to um, to get it cold either. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to um, taste. Let's um, taste the one with that lemon. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a platter. Put those on. Um, I definitely. I want to. I want to put uh, the ones we made this morning. Now let's do. No, I'm and oh, okay. I want I like the salt. You like? Okay. Trying to stay out of the camera. <laughs> well, you can get in front of the camera. No, Braden <laughs> made fun of me this morning. Oh, <laughs> Braden, he needs a. Let so off. You, you want to try these? Some of these. Yes, soon? let's do those. I like a soft cookie. Yeah. Well, now these are soft when you first get. All right. I'm gonna. Linda, go ahead and fix you one. Are you gonna? Are you gonna eat the filling in it? I'm gonna. I'm okay. gonna try one. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. This is. Fine. This is the one with the lemon in it. I want to try it with the lemon in it. Mm, it's good. Is it? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to put too much ice in. You, you put however much ice in you want in it. Well, taste one, Linda. We don't have to. We can go ahead and. and uh, I hate to. Is this the uh, one? Is this the one that you're going to. Uh, you're fixing you. You yeah. want the one with the lemon in it? Okay. That's the one you just did, right? Yeah. I've got it in my hand. I'm fixing. Oh, okay. Eat, well, can it. I just get a piece of yours? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't yeah. waste the whole cookie. Yes. Let me break it. I cut the cookie in half. Did you? Well, I just Thank broke you. it. Is that okay? Yeah. I fix the taste. And this, this, lim Linda, has lemon. Okay. Can you taste the lemon? You can taste the sour cream, can't you? No, but I don't taste the sour cream either. Yeah, no. It kind of cuts it. Yeah, it does. It's delicious. It is good. These are the ones that you, um... Cooked last time that has all the flour? Yes. Mm -hmm. I say leave the flour out. Really? I love the sauce. You love you like that? Uh-huh. It's more like an oatmeal cookie, isn't it? That uh -huh. you buy the little Debbie's? Yeah. That was a 
That was like a, what's that dude, the painter dude with the big hair, Bob Ross, is, what's his name? Mm. Bob, anyways, happy accidents. Mm. Happy <laughs> okay. okay, little Linda says she likes it with just one and three-fourths cups of flour. It's, the cookie's just softer, but um, it's good. It's still good. Uh, and the, just the, their little firmer, thicker cookie if you put the extra cup of flour. It's delicious. Thanks, y'all. I mean... You did good, Mary. These are really good. Thank y'all for joining us this morning. Um, and um, we learn. We learn when we when we do these little extra un un <laughs> unplanned um, things that we do when we're baking. But I, I, I do that a lot. I mean, well, not a lot. But <laughs> well, like I, I said, sometimes. you know. <laughs> Um, it was my mistake, and oh, that's I do okay. apologize. No problem. No but, problem um, at all. But professional bakers make mistakes, too. Sure. We see that all sure. the time. Well, so. I wasn't just saying that to make you feel better. I wouldn't say that. It really is better without the flour. Without well, they the tasted flour. delicious. They're more chewy. They tasted mm -hmm. delicious. They're more chewy, yeah. And this is a cookie that will be better the longer the cookie yeah, sets. because it has oatmeal. Because what it's got in it, so it'll and taste better. Because it does. So, um, I hope that y'all have a, a very happy, pleasant, good weather around your area. I know some people's having a lot better, worse weather than yeah. we are. Snow and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, tomorrow, um, I'll be uh, working from home, doing some things, getting ready for the weekend. You have a... Um, I have a dentist a appointment, dental appointment. Yeah. And then Friday, we're going to be back together. Friday, um, we're going to be back together. We're going to be putting up some packages for all you... People who come to come to our meet and greet, we putting a little package together for y'all. So, so it's just going to be kind of casual, sitting around right. the table, assembling stuff tomorrow. I mean Friday, yeah. and then Saturday we'll be at Bear Creek from yes. ten a.m. to twelve Central Time. Bear and Creek in Marshall, Texas. If you want to come, uh, there's it's a big area, so. You, you know, we've got several people that are coming, and we're looking forward to meeting all you people. Yeah, we are. That, and, and if you wake up Saturday morning or go to bed Friday night and say, hey, I want to go, but I didn't tell them I was coming. Come on anyway. That's right. That's we'll right. We'll have room for y'all. Right. And we're going to pack some little extra gifts. We are we are going to have some drawings for Pamper Chef items also. Yes. So we're going to have a good time, have a blessed, just looking forward to the all The weather looks good. Yes, yes. So... Y'all have a good day, and don't forget to count your blessings. Bye-bye.